Hello, children. Happy Halloween. Trick or treat! What are you supposed to be, little girl? I am a witch! <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Here, take your candies. Thank you, Mr. Dracula! He was scary. <laughs> yeah, his costume looked so real. Guys, looks like my bag is full. Shall we head home? Yeah, mine too. Let's go through the park. It will be shorter. This is 
what we are going to do now. We will work in teams. Billy and I will hide on the right side. And Sugar and June will take the left side. Joe, you will enter the park alone, just like Billy. But wait for my signal. When the monsters arrive, you have to drop your candy and run out of the park. We will follow the monsters from both sides and find out who they are and take the candies back. Hmm, that's a nice plan. Just one more thing. <laughs> yes, high five, man. <laughs> oh, so there is one more guy who is controlling the lights. Yeah, and they are using a stereo for the spooky sounds. Oh, that is so mean. Don't worry, Billy. We will have our fun, too. Hey, look! They're planning to scare some kid again. Not this time, guys. Sugar, Billy, you guys be here and shake the bushes. Keep changing places so that it feels like the sound is coming from everywhere. June and I go to the other side of the maintenance room. Wear these bed sheets and wait for the right time to scare them. There 
ghost in the pipe! Run! Teach them a lesson. I hope they remember it. <laughs> I am sure they will not come to this park for a long time now. Look at all this candy. What do we do with all this candy? Hey, I know what we can do. There was an orphanage nearby. It's only one block to the south from this park. We can give them the candy. They will appreciate it, I guess. Wow, what a great idea. Billy, you have such a good heart. Jack, look at those flowers. They are so beautiful. So beautiful. But why are they in two different houses, Jack? Oh, they are Gerda's and Kay's flowers. Who are they? Gerda and Kay were best friends and neighbors. To mark their friendship, Gerda had brought these two similar rose plants and planted one in each his yard. Where are they now? Kay was taken away by the Ice Queen, and Gerda has gone after him. Oh no! How come? This is what we know from Gerda's grandmother. There could be no better friends than Gerda and Kay. They did everything together. They never fought and loved each other a lot. They used to meet every morning to water their plants. Kay! My grandmother has asked your mother to send you over to my house tonight. She has promised me that she will tell us stories. Will you come? Oh, wow, Gerda! I love your grandmother's story nights. I will come in the evening. Grandmother, which story will you tell us tonight? Do you want to hear about the Ice Queen? Oh, yes! She scares me very much. Can she really see wherever her name is taken? Yes. Through a big mirror, she can see and hear whoever 
takes her name. Pa! I don't believe in that. Ice Queen is just a name. She is not real. Don't believe in me, eh? I will teach you a lesson. My ice warriors will steal the warmth of your eyes, chill the kindness in your touch, and freeze the affection in your heart. You shouldn't speak like that about anyone, Kay. Hey, who is out there? Stop for me? How are you feeling now? Go away, Gerda. My dear, it is Kay, Grandmother. He has been behaving very rudely with me since that day when he came to our house. Oh, give him some time. I am sure your friendship will bring him back to normal. Mother has said that my friendship will bring him back. I must go after Kay. How beautiful these flowers are. But how is it that they don't smell? Aren't they real? I can smell them. <sighs> what a lovely fragrance these flowers have. Who are you? Your touch has returned the fragrance of my flower garden. The Ice Queen had cursed it. The Ice Queen? Do you know where she lives? My name is Gerda, and the Ice Queen has taken away my best friend, Kay. I must go and bring him back. You sound like a very brave girl, Gerda. So I will help you. 
you will find your answer by the river. Thank you very much. I must go now and find Kay. Good luck to you. Meanwhile, I will send my messenger to your family to let them know you are safe. about Gerda so far. The Flower Queen's messengers had come earlier in the morning today. She is doing all this for her friend. I wish we could help her. Friend, we can go where Gerda has gone. I can take you there quickly. We won't be far behind her. That is so cool, Sugar. I say we go now. Queen said I shall find my answers here. But all I see is you. Will you take me to the Ice Queen? my friend Kay home. Please let him go with me. <laughs> Your friend Kay? He doesn't exist anymore. That used to be your friend. Just a while longer and he will be mine forever. He has promised to live with me like my son. Face it, Gerda. Your friend is dead and gone. No, Kay! <laughs> you can't be gone! <laughs> Look! Kay's cheeks are turning red! Gerda! Why are you crying? Where are we? Kay! You are back! No! That's impossible! How could this happen? No! My powers can never fail! <laughs> it's not your powers that have failed, mighty Ice Queen. It is our friendship that has won. I wish you would have seen that. Come on, Gerda. Let's get out of here. Oh, I am so 
so happy Kay has a friend like Gerda who will come to his rescue anywhere in the world. Just like I have you all, my friends. Yes. We always have each other. life? Yeah, so many times. Wow, weren't you scared? Nah, not at all. of a sudden, brave sugar. Lion! <gasps> what do we do now? We need to find a safe place. Quickly! Let's go back home, guys. Calm down, guys. The lion is sleeping right now. We will be safe there. Great idea. Phew. Thank God he is sleeping. Let's not disturb him. I'm very scared of lions. Phew. Wow, that was close. Wow, this is a nice spot. We can see the entire jungle from up here. Friends, look! There is a mouse on the lion's back. It's walking on him so fearlessly. Why would the mouse do that? Doesn't he know if the lion wakes up, he will be eaten within a second? I get for keeping you alive. I promise I'll be there whenever you need me. Hmm. Fine. I'll set you free this time. But next time, watch out. And don't forget your promise. I am thirsty. I should probably go to the pond. some water. 
Guys, look there. Are those guys here to camp as well? up the trap! Guys, I think they are after the lion. Make sure the trap is well put. I want that lion this time. Yes, boss. The lion will not escape this time. <laughs> Everyone, take your places. Lion is coming this way. Oh, I hope they don't hurt the lion. Finally, you are mine. Ho, 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 ho. Let him get tired. Let's celebrate in the van. Remember your promise? Yes, my king. Please help me now. Set me free. Yes, dear lion. That's why I am here. I'll nibble on the net with my sharp teeth and set you free. Magnificent lion free? Yes, it was amazing. The lion didn't even cause any harm. Thank you, dear mouse. You really kept up your promise. I hope I will be able to help you someday, my friend. You already have, my king. By giving me a chance. That was so cool! Who knew there can be friendship among animals? Yes, I'm not scared anymore. Don't harm the animals, and they won't harm you. Like the lion and the mouse, even we should help each other. Let's start with you helping me clean the house first. <laughs> <laughs> I want to remember this. It's such a beautiful moment. Let's take a photo. Hello, kids! Join the adventure of Sugar and Friends! 